Hi guys, so I wanted to start making videos about my favourite Lush products and I didn't want to do it the standard way, like just telling you what my favourite sort of shower gels or bath products are, which I'll do if you want to hear, but I thought I would start somewhere sort of meaningful for me and something that I really love is perfume. If you've watched any of my past videos you might already have guessed that. So I thought today I would bring you my top five favourite Lush perfumes. So in at number five we have Vanillary and this has notes of vanilla, tonka and a little bit of jasmine as well. So to me Vanillary smells warm and sweet. It is a very nice, almost foody kind of smell, but the just a teeny bit of jasmine in there keeps it from being completely like gourmand fragrance and it does have that warmth and slightly floral touch without being an overtly floral perfume. It's a very young and kind of comforting scent. It's a very delicious scent. It is really yummy. Oh, like it smells almost like a creme brulee with that sort of caramelly kind of coating on it with that tiny touch of really sweet, heady floral. It is really, really delicious scent. So Vanillary is a really good place to start if you're maybe just branching out into Lush perfumes. It is a very likeable scent where it is just sweet and warm. And while I do wear it on its own occasionally, it is really good for mixing with scents. I really like to mix this with Dirty, which has notes of sort of spearmint if you're not familiar with it. So when you combine it, you get this sort of minty, cool, fresh scent along with this vanillary sweet warm scent and it makes this really nice combination almost like vanilla mint that smells really good it's also really nice to use with maybe slightly stronger fragrances like um, jasmine scents like lust to tone it down a little bit so those are the two ones that I really like to combine them with so in at number four we have flowers barrow and flowers barrow has geranium rose blackcurrant and roman chamomile so to me, Flowers Barrow is spicy, sweet, and slightly herbal all in one. It is a very natural and kind of outdoorsy smell. Uh, the first thing I smell is those spicy florals, so the geranium and that like tinge of rose. And you get this sweetness and almost tartness that's coming from the black currants. And then just balanced out with the chamomile, which is kind of like a more soothing herbal note. So Flowers Barrow really reminds me of the countryside. It was actually inspired by the Dorset countryside, and that's where I grew up, actually. So smelling this reminds me of the countryside where I grew up, where there was lots of forests, lots of like gorse land. And this very sort of spicy, fresh, sweet smell is sort of perfectly sort of encapsulates that kind of feeling about being out sort of in the new forest. So when I think about who would wear this scent, what first comes to mind is actually Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice, particularly when she goes out and trudges through the rain to go visit her sister, walking for like miles and miles and gets all muddy. Because to me it smells really feminine and girly, but at the same time really outdoorsy. And it really makes me think of that particular scene. So I normally reserve Flowers Barrow for fancy occasions where I have to dress up, like maybe going out for a work do or going into an interview, that kind of thing. So I can bring a little bit of like nature and the outdoors into what would be a very corporate occasion. And in at number three, we have Lust. And Lust is the fragrance that I've actually had the longest and the most bottles of from Lush. So Lust has notes of jasmine, ylang ylang, vanilla and sandalwood. And it is, like first and foremost, a jasmine fragrance. The jasmine in this is potent and heady and strong. It is definitely not the kind of perfume for the faint-hearted. But to me, where it's got the other sweet elements, uh, the jasmine almost turns to honeysuckle. And to me, honeysuckle is such a beautiful fragrance. It's one of my favorite smells ever. We used to have a bush in our back garden when I was growing up and in the summer it would just be so potent and beautiful. And my partner and I went on holiday to Turkey a few years ago and our hotel was, where our room was, there was kind of like a walkway outside. The rooms were sort of facing the outdoors and all around was completely covered with sort of trellises with honeysuckle. 
And so now I just picture summertime and sort of good memories with the smell of honeysuckle and this smells just like it to me. So as I said, lust isn't the scent of the faint of heart, it is a definitely a powerful and sort of not only, like you don't just need confidence to wear it, I think it boosts confidence. Um, when I think of who would wear lust, I think of the classic sort of femme fatale in like noir films. So the beautiful lady who isn't just there for a piece of arm candy, she's actually really powerful, maybe a little bit dangerous too. So I normally reserve lust for date nights or any occasion where I feel like I need a bit of a confidence boost. And in at number two, this is actually my oldest Lush perfume and you'll be able to tell by the packaging because it is the old black packaging that they had many moons ago. That's how long this has lasted me, but it is still number two in my favourites list and that is The Smell of Weather Turning. This one has quite a long notes list, so it has oak moss, hay, nettle, beeswax, English peppermint and Roman chamomile. But this was obviously inspired by the smell of weather turning, so like thunderstorms, and you do get that fresh, almost ozone-y feel from this. So where I said like Flowers Barrow was outdoorsy, I meant that in a, the, ten, the sense of like the ground and the plants and the earth, whereas this is kind of the smell of the air, so almost like damp, stormy, cloudy air. So you get the mint and the hay, and then a little like, herbal note from the chamomile there. And then something almost smoky and woody. So on me, the smell of weather turning starts out as this beautiful, fresh, clean, minty scent. And then as time goes on, the smokiness kind of comes out. And it is a really beautiful transformation. It's one of my favourite sort of morphers, morphing perfumes. I think anyone who likes fresh, clean scents would really appreciate this. It is a very unisex scent. I think it would smell great on anyone. Yeah, another real outdoorsy scent. I actually took this with me when I went on a trip with my university uh, surfing society and we went to France for a surfing camping week and I wore this the whole trip so now whenever I think of this I just think of being there, getting up really early in the morning and doing some yoga and then going down to the sea and just surfing all day. So I just think of the, the sea and the fresh air and the camping and it is this beautiful, clean, yet smoky scent. So anyone who is after something that is fresh and warm at the same time, I think would really appreciate this. And I normally wear this in the summer when it's really hot as the clean, fresh scent is really nice. And I also wear it when it is maybe cold and rainy because it is really nice to wear it when it is rainy and thundering because the smell just kind of like amplifies with the humidity and it is a really wonderful experience. And in at number one is the newest perfume to me, and that is Death and Decay. When I first smelled this, I wasn't too into it, and then as I smelled a bit more, I fell completely in love with it. And the notes for this one are ylang ylang, tonka, rose and jasmine, but I think all of the main things that you smell are actually hidden away in the perfume ingredients, because this smells like lilies. So to me, Death and Decay it smells like beautiful, rich, heady, almost syrupy lilies. It is a very opulent kind of scent and not powdery in the slightest. So if you're worried about white powdery florals, it's not going to be in this blend. So this is a scent that makes me feel very comforted. It is a very comforting scent and I think that's because this makes me think of, when I think about who would wear this scent, I think of a really classy, refined, older lady. So almost like a, like a grandma perfume, but in the nicest, most endearing way possible. So when I say this smells like old lady, I don't mean that as an insult. I mean like, that's a really comforting thing to think of because whenever I wear this, I think that I'm wearing my grandmother's perfume and that is something that I find very comforting. And it is a very lovely scent in itself as well. It is a very refined, perhaps older women kind of scent, where I think vanillary is maybe a youthful, very girly scent because it is light and fun. This is more sort of deep and rich and a bit more refined. I wear Death and Decay anytime normally when I'm alone. So I wear this for me, not for other people to s smell how nice I'm smelling. 
So I normally wear this when I'm at home, maybe when I'm like just at home having a day off reading or something, and any time that I feel like I want to have some comfort as well. So if you yourself are looking for a new perfume and you want it just to be something for yourself so you can smell it, then I would definitely recommend you try Death and Decay and go out of the store with it because you might not be able to smell it to its full potential in the store with all the other smells going on. So have a wander out, sniff it and fall in love with it like I did. So those were my top five favourite fragrances from Lush. I haven't included body sprays in this because I want to make a whole separate other video for body sprays. Let me know down below what your top five Lush fragrances are or just your number one fragrance. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again next time and have a good day. Bye.